Good morning, guys. It is my official first day here. I got, got here yesterday, but I just, you know, relaxed and stuff. I woke up this morning, I looked at the sun. I looked into this view and I said, wow, God is good. Yeah, I'm here in, where am I? I'm here in Playa. I'm gonna butcher this name, Playa de Karma, I believe. Playa de Karma. I'm in Mexico. Okay. My goodness. I'm so happy that I found this hotel. I actually think somebody canceled this room last minute. I decided to book this trip two days before I came. I was just thinking about it. I'm like, yo, I need a change of scenery. I haven't really been traveling. I don't remember the last time I actually like traveled. But yeah, I just really felt the need to like get away. Like I needed to get away. I'm very happy I did. I almost didn't come because it was, it was really hard to find like a really nice hotel. Last minute this showed up and I was like, wow. The balcony, I woke up this morning around like seven and I sat on said chair and just read the Bible. And just like read is where it was so relaxing and it's quiet over here. It's not like a lot of music because I didn't want somewhere where there was a lot of music because I know some places in Mexico like Cancun, um, even Tulum, like it can be very rowdy. I made sure when I was looking at the reviews to like make sure I found like a quiet hotel. I think there was a wedding last night though so in the distance you could kind of hear a little bit of music but it was like a wedding music so it wasn't anything like crazy. Anywho so yeah I'm here on a writing retreat. I really want to spend time just like making some headway writing my book because you guys may or may not know but I'm writing a book. Yeah and then also just like really recenter, get back in alignment with God because I just felt like I really needed some solitude time with him. So yeah, so that's what we're doing. It's a solo trip and I'm so excited. I'm probably not gonna be doing much outside of like sitting on the balcony, sitting at the beach <laughs> and writing and reading and like listening to music. So this is like heaven to me guys. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> I'm gonna stay in my hotel room all day for the most part, which is why I need a really nice hotel room because we need views, we need vibes. So yeah, this room is perfect. I was a little worried that, cause there was only one room left this place was sold out i was worried that like i wouldn't have a view because one of the things you're gonna come to mexico for is for the view so i wasn't able to get like an ocean front but this is perfect like i can still see the ocean in the distance so it's great it's just perfect imagine just sitting here i'm definitely having a great time already I feel like this is gonna be an amazing what three more days because i got here thursday leave monday morning Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So basically full, four full days, which is lovely. And what's even so nice is the hotel gives you like a complimentary beach bag. How thoughtful. So one thing about me, didn't bring a beach bag. I really tried to pack a, what's it called? <laughs> a carry-on and I'm an overpacker so I couldn't fit all my bags and stuff so I just left it and I didn't feel like I was gonna be really like doing anything I'm not gonna be out here serving looks or anything so I didn't think it was that deep I mean I could have brought a bag could have brought a bag all right let's go to breakfast this hotel you can like pay for breakfast for the duration of your stay so it's like $55 honestly this place is pretty expensive I got it like on a deal through like Expedia. I joined one key so I get like cash back on the purchase. I settled with it because I knew it was really nice. And then also it was still discounted. So I was like, let me get it. <laughs> and I'm happy I did because if I went with something cheaper, all the all inclusives, cause again, I was booking two days before. So most of the hotels are sold out. All the all inclusive hotels were really big. I heard the food wasn't that great. And I'm like, I need good food now. Nah. So yeah, let's go. I already feel at peace. Do you hear the music? Do you hear the music in the background? Oh. So this morning I broke, I didn't break the chair, I sat down. My chair outside broke. So they brought another one for me. Thank you, gracias. gracias. First off, don't mind the fact that this makeup separated. 
been outside, been outside all day. Okay, so today was a great day. Actually, today was incredible. Today was a lovely day. Was able to get a good amount of writing in. I just discovered this new book that I'm like, absolutely eaten up right now. It's written by the CEO of the Dallas Mavericks, who is like a black woman. She's the first black female CEO for the NBA. Can you imagine that? Like, wow. Her story is like so interesting. I'm listening to it on Audible. Yeah, she like had stage three colon cancer. Like she has a story on her. So I'm just like eating it up. It's about six o'clock now. So the sun is setting and it is so beautiful. So beautiful on this balcony. I'm just gonna sit and like listen to this book and just soak in the sun. But I look so sweaty. I need to like take a shower, but I wanna like soak up the sun a little bit more before I shower and then go probably to the rooftop and have dinner. I still have chicken from when I got this on the road that I'm about to like just nibble on real quick. I think came in hand handy as well as my grapes. One thing about me, I love me some chicken skin. Still tastes good. I don't mind cold chicken. I just feel so grateful right now. It's like crazy. I really needed a vacation, my goodness but I needed it here at this exact spot. This is where I needed it. There's honestly not a lot to do aside from the beachfront downstairs and upstairs, the um, rooftop and the infinity pool. That's it. These grapes, fire. Let me eat some grapes, what am I doing? I'm not about to put these in here because there's no bowl. Yeah. Who gonna catch me? Like who, who, who's gonna fight me? Okay, like it's not every day you get to eat grapes from a wine glass. Yeah, I hear the sounds of nature outside. Ugh, love it. Honestly, like there is really nothing better than the sound of the ocean. It is just so relaxing, so relaxing. Oh, I didn't mention, but I decided to delete all of my social media apps. When I'm on social media for too long, it can start to distract me. I notice it in like my mood. Stick around on social media too long, you start doom scrolling. Yeah, you gonna notice a difference in just like your aura, how you think. So I kind of felt like that was happening with me and it was really distracting me, which is, you know, an interesting conundrum as a content creator, but like, I think content creators more than ever, I think we especially have to be careful of making social media like everything where to the point where you're on it all day it just it can zap your your cognitive so i decided to delete it just to like really take an actual break not posting but scrolling all day is not taking a break no you're just poisoning yourself basically so anyway de deleted it and now i feel like i'm actually relaxing like i feel like i'm actually on vacation i feel like i can actually think i feel like i can actually pray and like hear from god like it's so lovely so yeah i delete everything even youtube <laughs> we finna wash this listen we gotta wash these fruits Okay, so the sun is like setting now where it's not really out anymore. So now I can really sit on this hammock and not get no sunburn. Mm. Mm. Even the grapes are sweet over here. See y'all. <laughs> A few hours later. Good evening, friends. So I am here and I have my little setup going. Got the iPad going. I'm just reading this Bible, yeah? It is really refreshing. It's so nice. It's always nice meeting with the Lord and reading his word. But like, it's really nice when you're in like a really nice setting. Oh, like even when I was reading the Bible outside this morning and just looking into the street, the trees and just hearing the ocean waves. And then I was reading about idolatry. <laughs> I just wanted to quickly come on here and share what I just peeped real quick, just real quick because wow. One of the reasons why I'm very, not very, but one of the reasons why I'm so vocal about God and one of the reasons why I also say Jesus a lot is because I grew Christian my whole life, but I never really understood the importance of Jesus in Christianity. Like I just, I don't know, like we say in Jesus name and da, 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 but like it just never, none of it clicked. Like I genuinely understand when somebody just doesn't understand Christianity. They don't get it. Even if they grew up in it, what I noticed we, we can do as Christians is we assume people just know what we're talking about and we say these Christian terms like we're supposed to understand. 
For example, if you are a Christian, you've probably heard the term the body of Christ, which really just means the people of God, like anyone that considers themselves a Christian, you are a part of the body of Christ. But like, we just say the body of Christ. But then I was just reading, I'm reading Colossians 1, right? It talks about how Jesus is God. Let's, let's, let's put that to rest real quick. My goodness, it just comes swinging. Because some of you guys believe that like Jesus and God are two separate beings. Jesus is God, okay? If you don't believe Jesus is Lord, God in heaven would never share his glory with someone else. If you read this Bible, God does not play about worshiping other gods. He would never tell you to worship another thing that's not him. Jesus, the Holy Spirit, all God. It's just God in different expressions. It's kind of like how you see my physical body, but then I have a spirit that you can't see, right? My spirit and who you see is still the same person, just expressed differently. I don't know, I just felt the need to explain that for somebody because I, I genuinely did not understand for a long time. What I was really trying to say was we say these Christian terms and I don't, we don't even know where it's coming from. The first one was, I said it before, it says in Colossians 1.18, 1 is the chapter, 18 is the verse, by the way. It says in verse 18, Christ is also the head of the church, which is his body. That's why they call it the body of Christ. No, because why didn't nobody tell me that? <laughs> why didn't why didn't nobody tell me that? <laughs> and I know a lot of y'all didn't know that. Don't act like no. I didn't know that, bro. Okay. And there was another verse that said that too. Hold on. So and then in verse 24, it also says, Paul is saying, I am glad when I suffer for you in my body, for I am participating in the sufferings of Christ that continue for his body, the church. That's what made me realize, I was like, so Jesus's body symbolizes the church, which is us, the people of God. So that's why we say the body of Christ when we are talking about the people of God and like just anyone that professes as a, like as a Christian, you are a part of the body of Christ. So yeah, it says Christ is also the head of the church which is his body. The church is his body. Oh. So that was the first one. The second one that I had a, a whole revelation about and it just blew my mind because I was like, why didn't this never click? And this also speaks to the fact that like, it, it, it ties the Trinity together, which is, you know how we say the Holy Spirit, which in Christianity, basically like, we believe Jesus, like God the Father, God the, God the Father in heaven, and then you have Jesus Christ, and then you have the Holy Spirit, which are all just God. It hit me, I'm like, wait, the Holy Spirit, God is holy, right? God is also spirit, right? God holy, spirit, spirit, holy spirit. It's just talking about God. <laughs> it's just explaining God, like the fact that he is holy and spirit that's why we call him holy spirit oh somebody's not hearing me oh my gosh why did i never put two and two together <laughs> yo i never put two and two together <laughs> and it just it really like connected a dot for me that i needed i didn't even know i needed the dot connected but it connected it i'm like wow because you know what it is sometimes i be like hey god Hey Jesus, hey Holy Spirit, and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> you know, and like I genuinely understand like if somebody would be confused by that because it can, it, it really low key is confusing. It's literally just explaining what and who God is. God is holy and he's spirit. Holy Spirit! God is the beginning and the end. Jesus was, the, it says it right here in Colossians. Jesus is the beginning, supreme over all. There's only one supremo. Yeah. I'm just gonna go continue reading because I need to learn about idol worship. I need to understand idolatry and how God doesn't like it so that I too can stop and drop every idol in my life. That's where I'm at. That's what I'm reading. So anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I have another day tomorrow. Actually, I have to go to sleep soon because I have to work out. But yeah. But yeah, anyway, good night. The next morning. Hey guys, welcome back to another day in
Mexico. My views are still beautiful. The weather is still weathering and I'm very happy. So today is actually my last day here in Mexico, which is <laughs> so sad, actually so sad. Also don't mind the fact that my hair is puffing up, but it's like really humid today. Anyway, it's time to take this hair out. It has actually really tried. Like I've had this in for actually two months. <laughs> crazy yeah today's my last official day today is actually the hottest day it's kind of humid too so i went up to go eat breakfast and i tried to do a little work up there but it got hot and then they started playing music so i was like all right let me come back in here so i can get some cool ac so now i'm here and i with my laptop i gotta get to writing so yesterday yesterday was actually really tough the thing about like writing a book that i wouldn't say no one tells you i think it's just a lot of people just aren't really like if you're not writing a book, you're just not gonna know certain things. <laughs> and for me, you know, this is my first book and I'm like actually writing it myself. I think yesterday I was really getting writer's block. I was trying to really figure out like the flow because I already have like an outline, a general outline of how I'm gonna write the book and like where I'm going with it. As you're writing, things change and you're like, oh, maybe I should add this here, but then I have to move this here. And then before you knew it, I was confused and I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. And I almost spiraled, honestly. So I had to like call one of my girlfriends and just like have a talk. Cause I was like, low key, I have not even spoken to a friend <laughs> since I got here. And then I just was like, you know what? Let me come on and enjoy this weather. So I just, I just, finished reading or listening to the book the one about the ceo of the dallas mavericks it was a really good book the fact that like it was seven hours long and i literally listened to the whole thing <laughs> granted i listen to things at like 1.25 speed or 1.5 because i don't got time even tiktoks i watch everything on 2x speed <laughs> and that's how i tell myself we're not actually wasting time so i listened to that book and i kind of just relaxed you know Sometimes your brain can be a little fried. By the way, the book was like very interesting. I learned a lot and just even like about like cancer and just like what people go through when, when experiencing cancer. And also it increased my faith as well. What I will say though is like deleting social media, it makes such a difference in your mental health. It's actually crazy. I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, but I'm just kind of gonna go into it a little bit more. One of the reasons why I booked this trip was because I was finding myself, which tends to happen every few months, <laughs> Um, I was just becoming very consumed by social media um, and because it's my job it's like obviously I have to be on social media but I am definitely still trying to find a balance with it because it can get in the way right especially now that I'm trying to like do other projects like writing this book it really makes me realize like wow I spend a lot of time on social media and like I don't even be working low-key like I'm just there scrolling you know deleting the apps has really freed up so much time so much time like I genuinely feel like when I feel rested so I feel like when I get back home I'm just like I feel like I actually went on vacation you know you know sometimes when you travel but then you come back more tired than how you left because you're just doing so much like no this was like actual rest vacation for me so I had down downloaded Instagram back to this morning just because I wanted to why did I download it back I don't remember but I just went on it for a little bit and I was like wow there is a very big difference in how I feel when I'm on Instagram all day versus not like immediately I started feeling a little bit more anxiety and honestly I think I'm just gonna do this thing where I download the app to post my content and engage with you guys for you know 30 minutes to an hour and then I delete the app again I don't know how that's gonna work for stories but I have to because my mental health matters more and I am tired, especially TikTok too. I just feel like it's low key frying my brain cells a little bit. Like, and my focus is just not there like it used to. Like, I think about how focused I used to be in high school. Deleting social media, so nice, especially like being somewhere like, like this. And it can be tempting, right, to create content and to like, I don't know, post where I'm at and give updates. But then that's not like, that's not a vacation. That's working, you know? So I am still like taking like content and stuff because why, I mean, what is it for me to do this and record? It doesn't mean I have to necessarily post it, but it's nice to just like have for myself. And sometimes I'll be forgetting that low key, like every video and every photo that I take doesn't have to be for public consumption. It can actually just live on my phone for me. I literally had that realization like, <laughs> I think it was today or yesterday because I wanted to film something and then I was like, Ugh. You know, da, 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 da. like, I don't know, in my head, when I film something, it immediately, that means it's going online. And then I was like, wait, I don't have to post this, but I can still record it because I want it. I was like, wow! <laughs> don't mind me, this is like 
such content creator talk. But if you're a content creator, you probably know what I'm talking about. I'm actually getting a lot of writing done though today. So progress has been made today. And what I did, which was a little bit differently, so you can use this as maybe some motivation for yourself too. I went on the TV and I typed in study with me. So it's a three hour thing. And basically you get to study with someone. You get like a really pretty view and like there's like music and stuff. Feels like I'm working with somebody. Cause I don't know about you guys, but I be feeling like I need a body double or something. Like I just need someone there to like make it feel like I'm not alone in this focus block that I have to do, right? And I don't know, this has actually really done it for me. So yeah, it's 50 minutes of work and then 10 minute break. And like just seeing someone's hand in the corner, like typing away on their laptop makes me feel good. So I was actually able to focus and get some work done. My 10 minute break is about to be up. So I'm about to writing again for another 50 minutes. And yeah, I think 50 minutes is good because like you can actually get a lot done in that period before your brain like taps out and then doesn't get focused again. So anywho, yeah, so that's how things are going. Let me get back to work and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Don't mind the get up right now. I'm filming for TikTok and all they can see is up here. Guys, I was able to get in a three and a half hour work block and actually get a good amount of writing in, which was excellent. But yeah, if you guys are struggling to focus at all, look up focus with me videos. Literally just pretend that's your buddy and get to work. And if you're really struggling with focusing, delete delete your social media literally delete it i can't believe this is my last night i cannot believe this is my last night here i really want to extend paying that extra night moving my ticket it's just it's too much i'm just gonna have to enjoy the fact that i've enjoyed myself <laughs> um yeah and just plan for my next vacation because at this point i need to come back here specifically to this hotel low-key i may not even tell y'all the hotel because i don't want y'all booking it up <laughs> respectfully this is about to be my spot sorry no but seriously i need to like reach out to them and see if like maybe i can get a code so that if you guys do book here they know that it's from me so that i can get free stakes i ain't about to give them all this free press and then i still gotta pay for this place no 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 no, no. so you guys i'm gonna figure something out first and then when I get a code, I'll put it in the description box. Until then, my lips are sealed. I was telling my friend on the phone yesterday, I was like, wait a second. I just peeped that I have not really seen black people here, which is like crazy. And it's so wild because, oops, yesterday it like occurred to me. I was like, wait a second. I haven't seen no black people. <laughs> And then I finally saw one black person yesterday and I don't even know if they were staying at the hotel or not because I know you can do day passes here, but I'm going to assume they're staying at the hotel. I'm not sure though. I don't know. But I did see one other black guy this morning and he was with a partner. It was just so funny because I've been here since Thursday and Saturday was the first time I saw a black person and it just, it didn't even occur to me until that moment. I was like, whoa. Another interesting thing that happened when you book at like, you know, more expensive places, you get the uppity folk, you know. I was coming out of my room. It was the first day I was here actually, the first morning. And I had like put makeup on to go to the rooftop so that I could get breakfast. I wanted to be pretty, so I like put makeup on. You don't know who you're gonna meet. Not that you need to be pretty with makeup, but y'all get what I mean. Anyway, there's a lady with her husband and she's like maybe in her 30s. She looked like she's in her 30s. And, but she was like, European, she was from Finland actually. I turned the corner because they're already waiting at the elevator. You know, she just looks at me and she was like, oh my God, hi. And I was like, hi, wow, makeup this early in the morning? Good for you. Um, And I was like, thanks. And I just, I don't know, the way she was looking at me though, it, <sighs> child. I don't know if she, I'm sure she meant, well, I don't know. But it just, it was a reminder. We in a different place, you know what I'm trying to say? And then when Saturday, when it finally clicked that like I was one of the three black people I've seen all weekend, 
else. Oh, that's crazy. If this what the folk enjoying, I'm gonna enjoy it too. You ain't gonna run me out of here. <laughs> I just thought that interaction was very, very funny. And now I'm about to put my good old makeup on again. I love the fact that like everyone here is just like vacationing with their significant other. I just like love it. And then there's just me. I just think it's such a blessing. Like, of course, eventually that's what I want for myself. If you as a woman can recognize the season you are in and just like take the beauty of it, you enjoy life. And I just feel like this period of my life is so beautiful. The fact that I can just book a ticket two days before I wanna go and just go to another country, there's gonna be a point in my life where I'm not gonna be able to just up and leave because I'm gonna have a whole family. Uh, I'm gonna have to tell somebody first. <sighs> I'm going to enjoy this season. I'm going to squeeze the last of it. Before you know, my husband comes and snatches me away and whisks me into my second season of life. Enjoyment number two. <laughs> Whatever the case though, I'm gonna enjoy myself. But I was just like really thinking about it. I'm like, wait, I be buying all these little comfort plus, business class, first class. I said, what happens when I have children? Where are they sitting? <laughs> Do you get a discounted first class ticket for kids? Oh my Lord. These are the issues. These are the things that I'm like thinking about right now. Like, I need to start saving. Oh my goodness. Does that mean I have to fly economy now? I mean, I still fly economy. <laughs> let's be, you know, let's be clear. But like for them long haul trips, oh, economy is hard. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just really starting to think like, man, this stuff is actually expensive. Let's just pray for provision. Guard, please. But yeah, anyway, so I'm about to head off to dinner since it's my last night why not look you know pretty to go upstairs my flight tomorrow is at 8 a.m so i'm leaving here my i use the usa transfers so the van is gonna come at 4 45 in the morning i believe is ridiculous but it's fine what i have is i made my reservation online i purchased online and they picked me up right at the airport so they're a good service I'm probably gonna keep using them so yeah Okay. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm ready. This is like one of my favorite dresses ever. It's so flowy. It's from Anthropology. If it's still available, I'll link it down below. But yeah, for my last night in Mexico, I'll probably end the vlog here because I don't know if I'm gonna be, if there's really anything else to say. But I'm happy you guys enjoyed me on my little solo trip. This was like, honestly, the best vacation ever. The most needed vacation I've ever had. This is my idea of vacation. Like it really is. I think there's times and seasons for everything. I'm actually gonna see if I can still catch the beach just a little bit, feel a little bit light out before the sun completely sets. Oh, it's cloudy today, that's what it is. But yeah, this was the best vacation ever. Like I feel so refreshed and I just feel like in life, you need to do the things that genuinely bring you joy and this was one of them for me. If you are not the type that likes partying or you don't like doing a lot of excursions or whatever, that's okay. Lean into it. This was incredible. I am overjoyed with how lovely this trip was. Anyway, y'all, I'll catch you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see y'all in my next one.